Hey guys, Katie here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I have Dino crawling all over me right now. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and, uh, do a haul. Um, got some more stuff from, uh, Ralph's and I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I got my adorable baby Zeno with me right now. You know that bug. But, uh, but yeah, uh, let's just go ahead and get into it. <laughs> I love you. Yes, I do. Sorry. Um, see if he'll let me. Will you let me? Yeah. Yeah. Got you. Okay. So, first up, uh, we got a Magnolia title called Graduation. And, again, I don't think I'm going to show the back of these because there's, like, over 60 titles here. But, uh, Graduation, I almost said Magnolia. Um got this one called Invincible, and this one is uh, executive produced by Mel Gibson and Jet Li, and it has uh, Billy Zane in it, and then have this uh, mini-series with Angelina Jolie called True Women, it's a three-hour, two-part mini-series it says. And then I never even knew they made a second one, but Half uh, half Past Dead 2. And then um, Father of Invention with Kevin Spacey. And then we got... Ben Stein in Expelled. And then I did not know that this movie had Tom Holland in it. Because um, I've seen the Steel Book. I think it's out of stock now. But I would like to get it one day. Especially now that I know Tom Holland's in it. But Chaos Walking. Because I never really had much much interest in it but like I said I did not know that it had Tom Holland in it so definitely looking forward to that one now and then uh got reclaimed and then no idea what this movie is but it's called agenda and it says everyone has one says it's a drama and then found this cool one with Dar uh, Dana Carvey called clean slate it's a day he'll never forget until tomorrow so I wonder if it's like a 51st dates kind of thing where you know he forgets every day and has to be reminded I don't know it's from 1994 so don't know. Found only like three snappers this time, but got a boiling point. And then uh, I think I already had this one, but this is the collector's, I guess, edition. Um, it's Any Given Sunday. And guess it's a collector's edition because it has a double opening or whatever for the, sorry, I can't really use both hands because of, you know, but that, I don't know. Does it have a bonus disc actually? Oh, it sure does. I don't know what that is. Disc 2. Oh. Is 
It's just extra features. Okay. Three music videos. The making of Jamie Foxx Spotlight. Football outtakes. Gag reel. Okay. I didn't know. Realize that part. Okay, cool. So that's what makes this one special edition. Interesting. Never seen a snapper like that. Anybody else seen one like that? Interesting. Okay. And then uh, last snapper is uh, the Josephine Baker story. It says, before Madonna, before Marilyn, there was Josephine. So I don't know for sure if this is based on a true story or not. It says, uh, outrageous, shocking, sensational. Josephine Baker was born poor, but achieved fame and fortune through her sizzling, exotic, and erotic performances. So, I don't know, but. And then, uh, got The Choice. Uh, this is another Nicholas Sparks one who did, uh, The Notebook and Dear John. And also, didn't he do, a? Uh, Walk, the one with uh, Mandy Moore, something, I can't remember, Walk something, but anyways, got this one with uh, Teresa Palmer, and then, I don't know what happened, but this was in, on the back wall, so I don't know what happened, but they gave it to me for 25 cents, um, but this is Milk Money with uh, Melanie Griffin and Ed Harris, but it's brand new and it has a $15 price tag on it. But I got it for only $0.25, cents, so neither one of us realized because, like I said, it was on the back wall. So I got a $15 movie for $0.25, cents, so. But I didn't have this one, and I had it a long time ago. I haven't seen it in probably over 10 years, but. Um, and then got... Magma Volcanic Disaster. And then got this, uh, three great movies, uh, Mafia, Welcome to the Famigla, I don't know how to say that, but, uh, it has Mob War, Escape from Death Row, and Family Enforcer. And that's only Family Enforcer that I saw so far that has a uh, Joe Pesci in it because I know he's on the cover but it looks like he's only in the last one got Cloud Nine with uh, Burt Reynolds sorry I actually had one more snapper case um, Don Don Juan DeMarco I think is how it's pronounced because uh, Johnny Depp couldn't remember if I had the snapper or if I threw it away because I know I have the movie already anyways um, Girl Most Likely with Kristen Wiig, Annette Benning, and anyone else? Oh, Matt Dillon. That's the only other name I recognize. Um... And then I just got this one because I just thought the fucking title was just funny for whatever reason. But Creepin' with the Deacon. I don't know. So. And then this is uh, Jesse McCarthy. McCartney, whatever. Uh, it's a movie called Keith. And then this Hallmark double feature, um, one is called Firelight. Yeah, Firelight with Cuba Gooding Jr. And Have a Little Faith with uh, Lawrence Fishburne. And then uh, found this Magnet title, which again, I've said many times, anything Magnet, Magnolia, I want to get. This one's called The Unthinkable. Uh, we thought it could never happen. I don't know the stickers covering the West, but it's a, it's a disaster epic movie. 
looks pretty awesome. And it has the slip. And this one is from 2021. So. And then this has James Can and Christopher Lambert called North Star. I think I've also said I love movies that um, take place in like the snow in the winter. So this one looks pretty good. And I don't know how many movies there are um, in the police story franchise. Because I think I already have one of them. Or maybe there is only one. I don't know. But um, this one was in perfect condition. So I just went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, police story uh, lockdown. And then uh, The Great Outdoors. And Kilimanjaro. I think this one's like a real expedition. Um, I don't know. Just says 70 minutes. Uh, five climates, six climbers, 19,340 feet of mountain. And then here's a Cameron Diaz one I've never heard of called Head Above Water. And then um, Going to America. I think this is that sequel one to Coming to America. Which I haven't seen either one, so. Then I've seen this one on Hamilton Book and I've been wanting to get it, so I was happy to find it. It's called Cat Fight with uh, Anne, is it Haish or something? And Sandra O. Oh. Looks like an interesting ass movie. And then, of course, I love Sean Patrick Flannery uh, from Boondock Saints. And this is called Assault on VA-33. Um, I don't know. Never heard of it, but I love him, so. And then, of course, I also love Anna, uh, I think it's Paquin, I want to say. But it also has... Um, Gene Reno, Allison Jenny, Matthew Broadwick, Mark Ruffalo, and Matt Damon. And this is a movie called Margaret. Never heard of it, but that's an awesome cast. And um, Contract to Kill with Steven Seagal. And then this is another uh, Magnolia one called I think it's Ira and Abby. And then this is called Backroads and Lilies. This is one of those Dove approved ones. And then we got Judy Dench in Ladies in Lavenders. And Robert De Niro and Karen Black in Born to Win. And Dennis Leary, Elizabeth Hurley, and Steve Buscemi in Double Whammy. And then Children of the Bride. You need me. And this one has Juliette Lewis and Gina Grenshon and Mickey Rourke in um, 
picture Claire. And then this one sounds really interesting. It says, not even losing her sight could stop her from conquering the skies. Um, a Smile, an inspiring story. It's a, it's a Chinese movie, but it is all region. Um, and it does have a English subtitles. So, um, sounded interesting. I'll show you the back of this one. And then got this one again because it's a Magnolia one. Uh, I don't know if I'll really watch it though because I'll probably be kind of scared of what I'll see. But it's called Food Inc. I don't know what, how much of what it'll show and stuff. And so, because I am a meat eater. So, yeah. Um, and then this one's called Many Beautiful Things. Um, the Life and Vision of... Lilius Trotter. I don't know. It says the whole world should see this movie. But how many movies say that? So I have no idea. But it sounded kind of interesting. And I think I may have already picked this one up actually in my last haul. I couldn't remember. So uh, Red Dawn. I may have this twice. The original one with Patrick Swayze. So, but got that. And then found the original Fun with Dick and Jane with George Siegel and Jane Fonda. This is from 1976. And then this one is based on a shocking true story. Uh, it's called Christine. And then this one's called Rust. This one's brand new. Oh, uh, looks like it takes place in the winter snow time too, so. And then the crash. You know. What are you doing? And then No Greater Love. And Shooting Gallery. And the... I don't know how to pronounce that. The Chesling Prophecy something? I don't know what that says. And then we got Lost Lake. And this one is Seven Days in September. It says, seven days, 27 filmmakers, one powerful story about 9-11. And does it say when this one was made? 2004, it looks like. It's 93 minutes. So, there's the... Back of it. And then this one, I think it should be in English because it does have some Spanish writing on it too, but it's called uh, The Postman. Sealed. So, no idea, but. And then Russell Crowe in A Good Year. And 
and then Operation Avalanche. It's not a lie if you believe it. I think this is about the moon landing, how people think it's fake or it's a conspiracy or something. I don't know. And then The Secrets of Jonathan Sperry. I think that's how you would say that name. What are you doing, honey? And then being Julia. And carjacked. And then the original Arthur 1 and 2 with Dudley Moore and uh, Liza Minnelli. And Middletown. And then Mana from Heaven. What are you doing, baby? Honey. What are you doing? And, uh... Oh, I don't know why I thought this one was a Magnolia one too, but it's not. Uh, Cassandra's Dream. Funny People. And then, so happy to find this one, because again, I've never heard of it, but uh, Mel Gibson and Anthony Hopkins, The Bounty. This one's from uh, 1984. And then uh, this is Catherine, uh, God, Catherine Heigl in uh, Jenny's Wedding. This is the IFC film. And then this uh, sound, A Sound of Thunder. God. Almost done. And then got Masquerade. My Sister's Keeper. Georgia Rule. Or is it? Yeah, Georgia Rule. Uh, Codename The Cleaner. And then Hell Binders. Hell Binders. And then South Bronx Heroes. So that's that's what I got. Another bunch of just random random titles and uh yeah i'm excited some good some weird some who knows <laughs> i don't know but uh but yeah let me know if you guys have heard and heard of any of these or seen any of these or all that good stuff and whatnot and let me know what you guys have picked up lately and all that good stuff and I will see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye guys.